Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord the JS series. So in today's video, I'll be making a moderation command called Lockdown. So basically what it does is uh, locks down the entire server so raids wouldn't happen if a raid is happening. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to make this command real quick. So um, let me just name this Lockdown. Okay, if you don't realize this is command handler, um, because it's in my first video. Uh, so yeah, um, if you don't have command handler, make sure to check it out. Um, so first you're gonna check if the person has permissions by doing if message.member has permissions dot has and then administrator and then return. So if the person doesn't have administrator, we're gonna return. Okay, perfect. So let's find role because we're gonna need it. Message dot guild dot roles dot everyone. And then um, if there is no arcs dot length and then return message or reply please specify a query okay so for this command we can either do a lockdown lockdown true or else we can just do a lockdown false okay so we don't want to let people do something like lockdown members role or something like that we just want this to argument so i'll make a error handler system which will handle this for us okay so i'll show you guys right now so let's just define query with const query equals arc zero dot to lowercase. Okay, perfect. So if, and then we're gonna put an exclamation mark, and then we're gonna put an array. Okay, so we're gonna put the two options, which is true and also false. This dot includes. If it's not includes uh, query, we're just gonna do return message to reply. Um, the option you have stated is not valid so let me just remove this change this to semi colons okay so this is the error handler system so if it is not true and it's not false we're just gonna return this perfect so next we'll hand handle this query if the query is equals to false and then else if query is equals to true actually just do else and it will still work okay let me just do else okay let me just remove that okay so if, if it's false we're gonna add the permissions okay so we're gonna define the permissions right above all of these if statements so we're gonna do const perms equals to roles dot role dot permissions dot um to array make sure uh, you add the brackets because this is function and then in here you can just do um, perms dot push uh, send messages and then uh, we can just do a wait role dot edit permissions will be perms okay and then um, we can do message dot reply um, server is now uh server is unlocked or something like that i don't know what what do you call this but um you can name anything you want so basically we just per push the send messages so we allow members to send messages so we can actually um console log perms right here okay next and else um so else if it's true we're gonna basically remove this send messages uh item by using filters so we can actually do this by doing const new perms equals to a uh, perms dot filter and then uh, we're gonna filter the perm by perm is not equals to send messages send messages okay we're gonna remove the send messages and then we can just console the log the new perms okay you can remove all the console the logs it doesn't really affect the code just to show you guys that um, it's actually working so await roll the edit permissions will be uh, new perms okay perfect so um and then we can just do message to reply um server is now on locked down okay so let's just run the bot and let's try this out um okay so let me just try out the error handling so why lockdown it will ask me to or not 
Okay, please press my query. So if you give a valid query, something like invalid, it will say that um, the option you have stated is not valid. So if I do while locked down, true. As you can see, my out currently can talk. Okay, and then if I do while locked down, true. Okay, the server is now locked down. And then if you check on the perms, okay, the message, uh, send messages permission is actually removed from the array. So once it edits, and then um, the user wouldn't be able to send messages. So if I remove the lockdown, false, okay, as you can see here in the array, um, it actually adds back the send messages um, item and then the string send messages and then in my alt account I can actually send messages again. So yeah, this is the system. This is the lockdown system. It's pretty easy uh, with a little bit of error handling over here. Um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you face any errors, feel free to join the support. So the links will be in the description. Uh, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Alright, have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye.